Hello everyone. You know I have a uh, 2001 Porsche 996 Turbo and it's got the uh, Bose navigation unit with DSP and a C six, C six disc CD changer and a cassette player. Uh, it's, it's sorely outdated though. Uh, the navigation is naturally many many years old. You know who plays CDs nowadays or cassettes no Bluetooth, no nothing. So I decided to upgrade and this is the unit we came out with. Uh, did a lot of research online and it looks like the, uh, the Pioneer fares the best uh, of the bunch. This is the uh, 8201 NEX, so it's the latest version for 2017. What's, what's interesting is that the 8200 was last year's model and apparently it looks like for 2017 they didn't do much because this is the box that it came in and then when you open up when you open up the box, you can see that it's the kind of strange and kind of funny. It's the older model, you know, last year's model 8200, stuck inside this box. And all they did was stick a uh, a uh, a backup camera assembly into the top section of this box here. So the 8200, 8201 NEX apparently is the same as the 8200 but they give you the camera as part of the deal. Well, that's kind of interesting, but uh, it's a nice unit. And now, now we'll take a look at it later on. They also recommended this thing here. It, it's an adapter kit so that you could, uh, off your phone, and your Android phone, you could uh, show video through the uh, monitor of this radio. And it's basically a HDMI to MHL converter uh, doesn't work. <laughs> it only works for specific models of, of, of telephones, uh, and if you don't have that model, it doesn't work. So, but quite frankly, uh, you don't have to play, or you don't have to mirror your phone into the unit anyway. I mean, most people's phone is about the same size as the screen, so it doesn't really make sense. But I just want to let you know that don't go ahead and spend money on this thing if it's not compatible with your radio. You're better off with probably something like Miracast, but this is the uh, this is this is what this radio was replaced with. I'll show you the the Bose unit. This is the navigation drive. This is the radio itself. There's a back of the radio. And this, and this is the typical puny amp that comes with the, uh, the bowl system. Nothing fantastic about it. Fairly lightweight, so. And it's probably weighs uh, probably only a couple pounds at the most. But uh, we'll, we'll take a walk over to the car now, and I can start showing you the, the features of this car. This radio. I also, this radio has the option of, of having two cameras, so what I did was that I elected to purchase the uh, second camera and use it as my front camera so that we could avoid hitting curbs and all that. And then back here we got the rear view camera. So now we'll go inside the car. And you can see the unit right here. Right now, let me, this comes with the remote control, so thankfully, you could increase the volume. This is Android Audio. That's in it now. You can see it, it, it uh, the radio really fills out the, uh, the dash a lot better than the, what was in here before. That's where they put the mic for the Bluetooth. Then we put in this uh, the shelf unit here that that housed the uh, DVD navigation unit for the Bose system. So now you know you can put your your smartphones, stick it inside. Otherwise, there's no other place to put it. But it's, it's basically you know you could you got the little microphone here, so now you could Google. Where's the nearest gas station? 
and then you know it's just gonna show you and stuff like that this is the, uh, the radio uh, right now we're playing Google Play music this this is nice because on a Porsche the uh, the dash kind of slants downwards so we could press this button and we could tilt the, the screen so that uh, it's more straight or, or, or more in line with the eyesight as you drive in a car. And then you could jump back to the Pioneer screen here. And then you just click on any one of these things and it tells you what you have active, what you don't have active. And then there's a backup camera. And then you just click Android Audio. That pops up again. Now uh, it, it it took uh, it took us several days to get this thing in. Number one, they said they uh, the uh, putting the wires in was a uh, was a pain, uh, especially when you're uh, trying to run the wires from the back of the car. The engine's in the back of the car, so they have to run the wires in, and they did. Took them a while to to get that thing uh, routed uh, completely. And then once they got it in here, naturally they found out that uh, uh, typical with the Bose system, uh, the uh, Pioneer unit could not wake up the uh, that amplifier. So you know, all the power was going into it, but there's no sound coming out of it. So one of the option was to well, we could use the uh, the amplifiers that's, that's built into this Pioneer radio, which is four channels, 14 watts RMS, 50 watts per channel, but it's, it's only 14 watts RMS, so, and, and these bowls are kind of low ohm speakers. Uh, so we says, well, we, we could, you know, use the four channels uh, for, the, uh, for the speakers in front and back, and then we have two subwoofers in the door, and then we could buy a mono amp to drive the, the, the subwoofer. Yeah, but you know, I was looking at that. Says, well, that's not a bad option. It probably sound better than the puny Bose amp that I just showed you. But uh, you know, for a few dollars more, you know, I says, well, why don't? How much would it cost for a five-channel amp? So we got the four channels to drive the front, and then the one subwoofer output uh, uh, amplifier. And it was only a few hundred dollars more. So that was probably the best way to go. Now we got 900 watts. We chose the JL RD 900 series which is the latest series and it's a it's a full featured uh, uh high powered amplifier and it's uh it's it's got good reviews uh for its introduction and it's it's it's, it's one of the lower price of JR line but uh they, they didn't skimp on on quality or quantity uh of sound on this so that, that's where we hooked up uh we we just took out the uh this the uh amplifier that that's inside the uh uh the trunk of the car Pulled out the bowls, stuck in the uh, the JL, and never looked back. Uh, we got the JL, you know, gives us a tremendous flexibility in, in crossovers and all that. As does the, the Pioneer too. The Pioneer's got, I think, a 13-band equalizer, so uh, you know, there's, there's plenty you could do on the uh, the sound here, and then you know, you can see all the bands of equalizing that you could do. And then, uh, and then the uh, the pioneer is nice because you could just the fade and balance to your liking, and then it's it's also got automatic uh, uh, controls too. You, you know, you can sh turn on or off the uh, real speakers, but you can see you've got time alignment, listening position. If you want to tell you where to uh, concentrate the sound more, uh, time alignment is kind of interesting. You know, it depends where you sit. It could uh, align the the sound to you and then this is the ASL which is which you don't use too much but it's nice I mean Google Play is nice uh, we got both I, while, while we had it I had Google Play uh, uh, connected and then we also I um, mean Google and then we had also had the uh, Apple Play hooked up too so we could use both the uh, the Apple system and the Google system on this, this uh, radio 
but it it sounds excellent. I mean, even even through these Bose speakers, I mean, it's like night and day compared to what was on before. Naturally, we're running a lot more power and a lot cleaner power. Uh, the JL amp, uh, the gain's only turned up about a quarter uh, because uh, these Bose speakers they probably cannot handle, you know, that kind of power. But uh, very clear. And, uh, and, and quite a bit of bass. So uh, th this is a quick uh, overview of the uh, the Pioneer that's installed into a Porsche, uh, Porsche 911. It was not that easy of a job, but you can see they did a very good job of getting it installed into the car. The, the, uh, the Pioneer unit is wider, the screen, so it fills out the dash a lot more than, than, than uh, what was in it before. The shelving unit's nice. Uh, you know, with the navigation uh, uh, display pulled out, you can purchase this. It's you know, it's about 50 bucks. It slides right in, and then you can now. Now you got a place to rest your phones. Your remote control, sunglasses. You know, because you know, let's face it, the, this Porsche uh, doesn't have that much uh, storage space because it lacks the glove box. But uh, I just want to give you a quick overview of this uh, radio, and it's it sounds great. And that uh, it, it does its purpose. Uh, the backup camera is nice because uh, limited visibility in the rear end of the Porsche. And then, naturally, this car is so low in the front end. Uh, with the front camera, you, we could uh, avoid scraping that, that chin pretty good. So, very happy with the uh, with the overall uh, system.